Hey guys, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is, um, not really a, I guess it's a project video, um, we're making together. Um, I wanted to show you, uh, what bow dies I was using that I bought off of Amazon. And then I had a little trick for, like, this style or, like, this one here, uh, that has all the little holes in it. And so let me run these through here. Um... I'm running this die on with some Anna Griffin matte gold, and uh, it's going to come out like this, really pretty, um, with all that gorgeous lacy detail on it. It's, it's actually really pretty. So the trick to this, though, when you have a die, uh, it seemed like for me that was working really well. When you have like this style of intricate die, um, and it has all those little things that you want to get punched out see like a bunch of them came out on the mat but then you still have to do that so rather than rather than um poking each one of those out individual i found it was actually nicer to leave the die cut in the actual die and it does it does two things at once and then i take my little die cleaner brush and i run it over um the die with the die cut in it and then if there's any pokey pieces in there, um, I go ahead and like try to poke those out, run my finger on the back of the die. Um, and, uh, it seemed like it was easier to clean out those pieces with the brush, um, than it was to just by hand, uh, go and poke them out. I was like, man, there's like a bazillion of these. If you're doing one or two bows, it's not that big of a deal, but, or, you know, pieces, but when you're trying to replicate it, in some, you know, kind of, num you know, bigger numbers, um, poking all those things out gets annoying after a while, like, right? <laughs> so then when you go to do this, your die is then clean. You might have to do one or two, but like this is clean. And then for the most part, your die cuts clean and see like these two were just, they got, they got stuck onto the back because it was already trying to fall out, but it, it leaves your die cut like really nice and clean. So I just wanted to, give you that little bit of heads up. And normally I do this over the trash can, but you wouldn't actually be able to see it if I was doing it over the trash can. <laughs> uh, you'd be looking, I don't know, probably at the floor or something <laughs> or my shoes. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, see, just like that, it's like so simple. And then it, it's just twofold. It cleans the, um, it cleans the die cut out and then it cleans your die out. So it makes it, yeah, it's just really nice. And uh, I got a little ladybug that'll clean up all the pieces, though, so that's just fine. Um, yeah, this Anna Griffin uh, matte red gold is, wow. It looks like jewels, I think. Like, especially when it shimmers in the light, it's so beautiful. It is really nice. Uh, Recollections actually makes a really pretty uh, red foil. It's like super shiny red foil, but it's actually really pretty. And especially for Christmas, it's really nice. See you, And then you only have the one. And I think that's actually faster. Oh, no, that's a lie. Look, there's one more there. Look at those little boogers. I'm trying to hide. You can't hide. There you go. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to clean this into the garbage can. And uh, and then I just use my little uh, scrapey tool. Scrape the mat off. And it, it goes pretty good for all those little pieces with the little scrapey tool. And then, um, so the dies I used on... Uh, these bows here that I made, um, let me show you what they are. Um, look at all these little wily pieces everywhere. My goodness. <laughs> look at these. I need to clean the table. That paint will come off. Um, I've just been in a hurry. I get this stuff cleaned off the table, and that's about as far as I make it. <laughs> okay, so this, this bow right here is this die set here with all these frilly ones and that's the name of it that I got it I got off of Amazon so there's that and then the reindeer one or the gold one rather that I guess is the next one there so this this gold one here that I made um is this die set here that's what it's called and that's what it looks like and I just left this all as one rather than take it apart. Um, and I cut it out once in Anna Griffin matte gold and then once in this Anna Griffin 
green foil paper. This is out of the, I think this is the hearth, um, the hearth paper pack, the one that goes with the little fireplace, um, hearth and home or it's an Anna Griffin paper pack. That's like for hearths. Um, so look up brick, um, like on the back of it. Cause that's where this came from too. It's like got bricks on the back. This one has, this one just has pretty green on the back. So that's what's on that. And so then, so that's, that's this one on Amazon. That's the name there. Feather bows, three piece feather bows is what it's called. Um, and then this one here is the little reindeer one. How cute, right? This pom pom is a stamps of life pom pom, but you could probably actually get these off of Amazon or scrapbook.com. You could probably get them at Joann's or Michael's as well. Um, and that one is this one here, uh, bow tie for card dies. Um, it doesn't say reindeer, but it, it comes with the little reindeer pieces and it's like got all the cute little hole detailing in them. So that's those. And then these little cabochons, they're tiny, uh, that I use for the center. These are, uh, does it say? No, there's nothing. Um, they're like so small. They're like, I don't know, um, three eighths of an inch, half an inch. They're half inch cabochons basically. Um, three eighths to half inch. And then these ones here are a little bit larger that I used for the middle of there. Um, those are, these, uh, size are, oh, and this was in a, this, this was part of a multi-pack, um, of cabochons. If you just type in, like, gem cabochons or just cabochons into Amazon, all these will come up. So many beautiful ones. And this one is about five eighths. Yeah, it's probably about five eighths by three quarter. But I would stick to like half inch, five eighths size cabochons. But if you get a multi pack, these will be in it. Now these won't. These were individual, and I think there's like fifty of them in there. And so yeah, and then these ended up being the perfect size, uh, I thought for these. And I just think they're so pretty, even with the like little bit of rumpled, um, because I couldn't get it quite curled over, um, to press into a bow shape, even with the crumpled, um, foil, I think these are still really pretty, and the nice thing is, is they're dimensional, but they're not two dimensional, and they're just really nice, so, so that's what I did for, um, that's, that's what I'm doing for these, and so then, um, I guess, I guess we could just make one really quick, uh, do you guys want to make one, do you want to make one, uh, I just wanted to show you the tip about the leaving the die in the die, Leaving the die cut in the die and then rolling your brush over the top of it so it doesn't mess up your foil and it, it doesn't it doesn't mess up the die cut and the foil and it cleans at the same time your die out. Um, which I thought was pretty fun. So um so here. I guess let's just let's just try it. Uh let's just put one together. Um let's see. Uh let's move this stuff over. I don't need this anymore. Let's just do this one. It's right here. So I did, this is Anna Griffin matte gold, like, um, I was saying, and this is the bow part. Um, and we need to layer on top of this, but first you want to like, I'm just going to put it over my finger. You want to like start training the paper to go into a curl, um, to get it, to get it to curl. Cause this is the bow part. And, um, so that way it has a less propensity to crease. Um, and then I'm going to do that with these here, cause these are the layering ones for the center. Look how thin those are nice, finely detailed little bow accent pieces. These are great. Okay. And then I'll just put glue on these. I'm going to see if I can, it'll go better if I, I'm going to see if it goes better hot gluing the bow into the middle. Um, but I'm going to glue the, the layering pieces down. Come on. And then I got another project. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot. You know how it is when you get in, at least for me, when I get started on projects, when I get started, my brain is like, what do you do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Sometimes, well, a lot of times I already know what I'm going to do because I instantly have an idea. Um, but 
like for these, these are for a loaded pocket swap. Well, I had an idea for part of it, but I didn't have an idea for all of it. And so one thing that was throwing me off were the ornaments. Um, and, and be the, what threw me off was I had an idea at first what I was going to try to do. And, uh, I wanted to make originally, I wanted to make, um, honeycomb, honeycomb ornaments and primarily because of how a, a honeycomb ornament works. If you remember old school, um, they're the ones that like accordion open and then you hold them open with a paper clip. And so I thought, well, the only stack about half inch tall, which I should be able to slide that down into the pocket. Um, but, um, and then, and then the person could open it, uh, on their own. However, when I went to make them, it was, uh, trying to get a die that would work, which you could get a die to work. I did, but then it was much thicker than I had anticipated. And it was a whole lot more work. It was like way more time consuming than I thought it was going to be. Oh my gosh. Um, cause you have to cut like 20 layers for one ornament, 20 layers. And then all each of those 20 layers have to be glued together in a specific way in order to get it to honeycomb open. And yeah, it was. So when I lost that idea and thought, oh, this is not a practical, a practical thing to do. I was like, oh, what am I going to do now? And then that's where it kind of threw me for a loop. And so then I was like, revamping but then yesterday uh or whenever we were in here making the wreath ornament and my other ornament um I made the poinsettia one I remembered I had all these really great ideas um I have all these great things in my craft room already that I'm like you're so silly why don't you do this so I've got a couple more I'm gonna do with you um I got a couple more I'm gonna do with you okay so now what we want to do is, so I just glued the layering pieces on. So Anna Griffin Matte Gold Sizzix White Pearlescent Paper is what this stuff is. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and these go to the center. And let's see if we can get this to, you just want to gently move the paper over. And I try to line up the ruffles to, you know, that ruffle to that ruffle and this ruffle to that ruffle you know, and then just gently push it down. But this is where I was hoping that the hot glue would work better. So I need my little hot glue pokey thing. Um, we're going to try this little thing so I don't burn the snot out of my fingers because that is a no bueno. I don't want it to look jinky either. So lining up and lining up. Does that look about proper? Well, so much for my pokey tool. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. But I didn't burn myself, so that's a bonus. <laughs> and so now, oh yeah, we're going to use this side. Um, we're going to go like this. And like this. But I put the top of these two together. Kind of straight. Try to line that up straight. Line those up together. And then I put mine down like this. So I think I'm going to still do that. Right in the middle right there. So let me put some glue there. Uh, actually I'm going to put some glue right here. This is the top. I know. I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. Why am I doing it on this side? But I made a party foul. And on the back side, if you'll notice, it didn't line up properly. And this side looks way better. And I knew I was going to pop a cabochon in the center of that. So honestly, it still looks the same. So that was that was why I did it that way. I know the front was like the prettier side for sure. So glob of glue into the center, press it down a tad, make sure it's centered though. There, like that. Isn't that pretty? 
right? Come on now. That is so beautiful. Gosh. See, and then the back doesn't. And that was actually way nicer than using glue. Okay. Note to self. Put bows together with hot glue. It's nicer. Um, yeah, I love it. I love that. Oh, I love that. See, and look how pretty. Those are pretty, pretty. Okay, so there's those. So let's do a little reindeer one. So let's do these. These are not bad either. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, well, technically, you're supposed to wrap this around this. But as, as you can tell, it's not needed. Yeah, it's it's actually unnecessary. So there we go. We don't need to do that. <laughs> we will want to do it on this one. Okay, so this is my back piece. This is my double bow piece. So kind of do the same as the other one. Curve it around your finger. Try to train the paper around. I love the fact that we put a little red puff ball in the middle of this. And then you get the highlight of the red at the bottom. Uh, like that. Like you can see the red. I think that's so cute. Training, training. Okay, so let's put a little dab of glue. See if that goes. There again, trying to line up the holes, but not get hot glue everywhere. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh, see, if you don't get it lined up on the back, though, you have to... Or on the front. Bummer, dude. So that's going to be the... Uh, that's This is going to be the front now. But that's okay, because we'll put the little piece around it, and it'll be fine. Don't worry. It will be adorable. That is the only nice thing about the regular glue. You do have a little bit more time. Um, you have a little bit more time to fix it, to finagle it. So then that's going to go there. So we're going to go here. Yeah. Okay. So let's um, pop this on. Yeah. I don't want the red showing. So I'm going to use this side. And pop that in the center. Like so. Yeah. See? Like you can finagle. When you put the hot glue on there. Psh, you're done. Uh, yeah, that is super cute. Okay, so let's wrap this around. But it does hold those much nicer. I I do I do have to say that. So let's wrap this around because you're going to see it on this one. But you don't need it to be actually that big, so I'm going to trim it off. And pop a little glue on this. Hold it on there. See? Oh my goodness, how cute, right? Um, oh, you know what, though? That's why that one was so big. Because I actually wrapped this around. I forgot, I'm talking. I actually put this on first and then wrapped that whole thing around. That's why. But that is still pretty darn adorable anyways. So it's okay. I mean, come on, that is super, super cute. Right? Oh, right? Oh my gosh, how cute is that? That is darling. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is so cute. A little reindeer. Okay, but we do need the hot glue for the pom-pom. <laughs> that is... This, this one is so cute. Come on, that makes you smile right there. <laughs> yeah, so this is um, Stamps of Life uh, Twig. The brown color is called Twig. And then this is Anna Griffin paper, a uh, gold foiled paper that I got out of that same hearth pack as I did the green, the green one here. So there's that like, oh my gosh, right? How cute, how cute. Okay, so we got those. Um, let's see, now we want to do our little green and gold ones here. So, um, and then I, after these, we're going to be, I'm going to be done, um, and then, because I'm not going to go into the other two, I'm going to do a different tutorial on those other two ornaments I was talking about. Well, these aren't ornaments. These are bows. So so basically, this 
um, I did the opposite. So I did one in gold and then one in the green. And then I just did them opposite. So like this one. Uh, so yeah, we'll do these together. So this is how these are going to go. Like this. See, like that. So let's glue. This get, This doesn't, nothing else gets done to these two pieces. They just go straight down. Uh, pretty much line them up in the center. And how cute, right? Easy peasy. Oh yeah, super, super cute. Line it up in the center. Super darling, like how cute is that? Okay, now this is where these little guys, uh, yeah, they are, um, these are really hard to get without the creases in them. So I do my best. You're going to have little creases, but in all reality, for the cuteness of them, the gem in the center is going to hide the creases for the most part. You're, you're going to, it's not going to hide them. It's just, you're going to overlook them. So now uh, what we want to do is, and I think this one, I am going to try the hot glue uh, just because it'll hopefully make this, um, these stick quicker. How do we like that? Okay, we do like that. Okay. So, yeah, this is, it's just so much quicker. And remember, the cabochon, if it's ugly in the center, is just going to cover it up. Don't worry. Just make sure the front how, is how you like it. But don't worry. We got this. See, it? it's going to go like that. And so now let's go ahead and pop a little gl hot glue on that. So pick the prettiest side, obviously. And uh, don't worry about the hot glue pieces. We can, we can take care of that later. Just make sure you're lined up in the center. You know what I mean? Like that. And now you're going to take and you're going to cover up all this schmuckiness. All this icky stuff. I'm going to see if I can just grab a little of that off because it's bleh. So now pop that in the middle. And I know, I know, don't worry though. We're going to put a, a cabochon in the middle. So don't worry. Uh, I'm going to pop glue on this though. But don't worry. Don't worry. It'll be fine. And I'm going to put it on the table and press. Because this is anti-stick stuff. It's craft mat. See? So even if you don't put a cabochon in the center, it's still so cute. But because we have them, we're going to use them. Right? And then, elevated, what? Yeah, loving that. And then, uh, just let that set up, and then you can go back and use your tweezers or something uh, to get off all the little cobwebs. But, yeah, right? That's uh, upped a little bit right there, up a little notch. Okay, so now this one, this one's a little harder because it is foil, and you do see everything. But same principle applies. Uh, get it trained around your finger at first. Try not to put creases in it. But if you do, do not do not worry about it. It's just paper. It'll be fine. You're going to disguise it. Don't worry. It'll be okay. And then just try to make this lined up. Okay, and we did do the hot glue with this. It seemed like that actually worked out pretty good. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be the back now. So make sure the back looks good. If you end up having to use the back, just go with it. Just go with it. Don't even let it uh, bother your day. Just, just go for it. Right? Just go for it. It'll be fine. 
It'll be fine. Don't worry. It's because these are so darn small. They're tiny. But it's okay. Don't worry. We got this. Don't worry about it. And I could technically use that one because I am putting a cabbage on. And we are covering it up. Let's see if this will go. Because I think I, I might... Uh, mm, mm, I do. I like that side better. We're going to use the front then. Just the tiniest dab of glue. Just the tiniest. I know it looks heinous right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. I'm just kind of pressing it a little to try to puff them up a tad. See? And then we're going to go that way. Right? See what I mean? And if I was a genius, I would have put the... Well, we're going to cover that up. You're not even going to see it. Never mind. No geniuses here. Little glue. Press. And I'm going to pop that on the table. Wait. Wait. It's being Henri. Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Wait for it. I'm going to hold it then. <laughs> it is, was not a happy camper when I tried to put it on the table. Okay, see? Come on. Just wipe the glue off. See, that is actually still super cute. Those little centers really make it. So even if we don't put the cabochon on, that is darling. But, hey, use them if you got them. Right? Use it if you got it. Little bit of hot glue. Like that. And press. Right? Right? Look at that. Elevated. Right? Just ups it a tad bit more. Pretty, pretty. Okay. So there we go. We have our, these couple of beautiful little red foil, our two little reindeers, and those little bows like that. Right? Like how pretty, right? Okay. So I got to make one more set. Uh, pop these in some packaging. Um, I'm actually going to line them up like so. I can actually only put one in there. So I don't even have to make these two. But I'm going to because I thought I might doll something up on the outside of the packaging with one. Um, and so I'm just going to do the three like this. Do a three and a half inch wide strip. About seven inches long. And pop them in a thin clear bag. And um, call it a day. But anyhow, there it is. Hope you enjoyed this project share and uh, the little tip on the die cutting, cleaning it out in the die with the brush so you don't ruin your foil and whatnot and the dies. So there again, those are, this is the, this bow die. Um, this is for the uh, green and gold one. And then this is the reindeer. This is what the reindeer one is, bow ties um, for the little reindeer. There you go. Thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.